this problem, we are working on nets of solids. So here are three solids. We have figure A, figure B, and figure C. It is asking us, for each net below, select the solid above to which it folds. So let's start with question one. In one, we can fold a two-dimensional net along the lines to make a three-dimensional object. Here is how this net folds. We start at this, this, then it folds up like this, and this is what it looks like when it's all folded up in a three-dimensional figure. The solid to which this net folds is solid B. This solid is called a rectangular prism. So if we go back to our question, we can see that it folds up to be figure B. So we mark figure B here. Now let's look at two. In two, here is how this net folds. We start off with this, and it starts folding up like this. The sides come up and we end up with this. The solid to which this net folds is not one of the three choices, so we answer none. So it does not look like any of our three choices, so we mark none in our question. Now let's move on to three. In three, here is how this net folds. So it starts off like this, and the sides come around and the bottom stays the same and we get this figure. The solid to which this net folds is solid A. This solid is called a cone. So we see figure A is what our figure looks like. So we go down to our question and mark A for our figure. Let's look at 4 now. In 4 here is how this net folds. So it starts off like this, and the bottom stays a square, and all four sides fold up, and we get this figure here. The solid to which this net folds is solid C. This solid is called a square pyramid. So we can go back up and see figure C is what 4 folds into. So we can mark C for our answer.